No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Alright guys, so check it out. Uh, this is what I've been working on for the past few days here. Uh, I didn't take much video because I've just been trying to focus on making sure I get everything right here. Um, so where I'm currently at is I have the new timing chain installed as well as the secondary chains. Uh, and then so you can see here, so let's see if we can get a good shot of it here. So on the passenger side, you see I got the timing chain and dot lined up there. And then on this side, you can see that I got the chain and the dot lined up on that side. And then down under here. Got a dot in between the two links there. So there's a new chain, new guides, uh, new water pump, uh, all new, all new gears. Now I'm ready to get this surface cleaned up here and uh, get the new cover put on. Alright guys, so here it is, first oil change after doing my timing chain. Probably put about 100 miles or so on the previous oil, uh, trying to get all of the antifreeze out of the system since I did do the water pump while I was in there. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Milky.
All right, so while that continues to drip, um, we can take a look at the parts of the uh, the timing component parts that I have pulled out of the vehicle. Um, so here we got one of the guides here. There wasn't really any like wear on this. It seems still pretty smooth. Like, you know, it doesn't feel like there's ridges or anything cut into it. And really it's on like all these pieces here. They're all relatively smooth. Like it really doesn't seem like anything was the issue with these pieces. Um, and then also you got your tensioners here and these same thing really doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with these um, Seems like they were still doing their job for the most part uh, And then I did notice that the secondary timing chain on the passenger side was definitely looser than uh, the one on the driver and I'm assuming it's because the tensioner was bad, but the tensioner doesn't seem like they're, you know, like I just showed you guys, it seems like they're still working the way that they should. So I don't think that was the issue. Uh, I replaced all the sprockets while I was in there. So I did the one on the uh, crank and then both of the camshaft ones as well. And these have a little bit of wear. Nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing you wouldn't expect to see. Um, and then the last thing we have here, which you'll see in the video shortly, is this here, which is obviously the timing chain. Uh, so this was extremely loose. Uh, I could almost pick it up and I could pretty much pick it up and, uh, you know, move it over a tooth this way, tooth that way. Um, so clearly the timing chain, the timing chain stretched and that was the cause of uh, the issues with this vehicle. Um, so now let's go back out there and get the uh, oil put back in. Right on the money. <laughs> 